In this video, we'll look at proving if a quadrilateral is a rectangle. To begin, let's look at the definition of a rectangle. A rectangle is a quadrilateral with four right angles. Now, in order to prove that we have right angles, we're going to have to show some work here. The way that you show that you have a right angle is you show that two segments are perpendicular. For instance, if I want to prove angle A has a measure of 90 degrees, I need to show that the two segments that make it up, AD and AB, are perpendicular. However, in order to prove that something's perpendicular, I first have to find their slopes and show that they're opposite reciprocals. And that's how I'm going to approach this. I'm going to find the slopes of all four segments. I'll show that the segments that come together have opposite reciprocal slopes, which therefore make right angles. I'll need to do this four times to show that we have four right angles, and thus a rectangle. So let's start by finding the slope triangles. If we find the slope triangles of all four sides, I can therefore look at the slopes of the individual pieces. For instance, if the slope of AB is negative 3 fourths and the slope of BC is 4 thirds, I can conclude that AB is perpendicular to BC because the slopes are opposite reciprocals. Opposite reciprocal means you flip the, the fraction and change the sign. The negative 3 fourths flips to become 4 thirds, the negative becomes positive. If those segments are perpendicular, then the angle that they form has a measure of 90 degrees. Hence, the measure of angle B is 90 degrees. Now, I've shown I have one right angle. I need to show that I actually have four right angles in order to do a rectangle. So I've got three more to go. If angle B is done, let's turn our attention to the next one. If the slope of BC is 4 thirds and the slope of CD is negative 3 fourths, I can conclude that those are perpendicular segments. So BC is perpendicular to CD because their slope is opposite reciprocals. Therefore, the measure of angle C is 90 degrees. At this point, I'm going to recommend that you pause the video and attempt to try to prove that the other two angles are 90 degree measures. When you've done that, resume the video and check your answers. All right, hopefully you've had a chance to prove those other ones are perpendicular and therefore right angles. To do this, turn our attention to the next angle. The segment CD has a slope of 4 thirds and the slope of AD is negative 3 fourths. Those segments are perpendicular because, again, we have opposite reciprocal slopes. CD and AD form angle D, so the measure of angle D is 90 degrees by the definition of perpendicular. We have one more angle to go. We still need to do measure of angle A. The segments that make angle A are AD and AB. Well, if we take a look at the slope of AD, or DA, it's 4 thirds, and the slope of AB is negative 3 fourths. Again, those are opposite reciprocal slopes, which means that segments DA and AB are perpendicular. If those segments are perpendicular, then the measure of angle A is 90 degrees. I've now shown that I have four right angles. The measure of angle B is 90 degrees, the angle, measure of angle C is 90 degrees, measure of angle D is 90 degrees, and the measure of angle A is 90 degrees. If I have a quadrilateral with four right angles, then it's a rectangle. Thus, I conclude that ABCD is a rectangle because it's a quadrilateral with four right angles. To summarize what we did, if we want to prove that we have a rectangle, we'll start by finding the slopes of all four segments. We'll look at the segments that intersect and show that they have opposite reciprocal slopes. If they have opposite reciprocal slopes, those are perpendicular segments. If the segments are perpendicular, then the angle that is formed between them is 90 degrees. If you can show that you have four angles whose measure is 90 degrees, you have a rectangle because that's a definition. A rectangle is a quadrilateral with four right angles. Alright, thank you for watching this video and I hope it helps you to understand this.